Hello, this is Hamid Nikfajam. I'm a PhD student at the University of Texas at Dallas. I'm going to present our work titled as Signal Classification Using a Mechanically Coupled MEMS Neural Notebook, uh, which is submitted to IEEE Sensors 2021. So as wider spread of wearable computers is limited by power efficiency and energy consumption, since microelectromechanical systems or MEMS inherently require low power consumption, we propose the first MEMS network to perform basic neural computing. The network does signal classification without the need for microprocessors. It distinguishes between a gradually increasing input signal and an abruptly rising input signal. So MEMS network is consisted of three mechanically coupled elements. Each element is consisted of a proof mass, supporting tethers, softening electrodes, coupling connections, and stoppers. Elements one and two for the input layer and are equipped with cone drive actuators that will be connected to the input signal. So each I-shaped proof mass is supported by two or four supporting tethers, um, two arrays of electrode is extended outwards from each mass to form parallel plate actuators. These actuators referred to as softening electrodes. So this device is designed in a way that mass one and its coupling connection is a stiffer comparing to mass two and its coupling connection. So to operate this device, first, all softening electrodes are biased. This will result in each mass being closer to its instability or its pulling point, with the more softly coupled elements or mass two closer to its pulling point. So when a similar input signal is applied to the comb drive actuators, mass two pulls in first. So depending on the voltage, the input signal, the voltage of the input signal, mass three moves upward or downward. So let's consider the case of the ramping or increasing, gradually increasing input voltage. So when the input voltage increases, as mentioned before, mass two pulls in first, moving upward until it, it hits its stopper. The coupling feather between mass two and mass three causes mass three to move upward. If softening electrode bias of mass three is large enough, mass three will be pulled out of stability and it will be pulled in upward, indicating a gradually increasing voltage. As voltage keeps increasing, mass one eventually pulls in downward as well. So on the other hand, with the device at its resting position and bias voltage is applied, if an abrupt voltage is applied to the input comb drive, both mass one and mass two would pull in almost at the same time. In this situation, the stronger coupling between the mass three and mass one will cause mass three to move downward until its stopper hit detection, dete which is indicating a detection of an abrupt increase in the voltage. So here we can see measurement results of a fabricated device. When bias voltage is applied to all softening electrodes, no device is in pull in. When applying a gradually increasing signal at around 34 volts, mass two pulls in upward and causes mass three to move to pull in upward. So, uh, but there is no pull in in mass one yet. As the voltage keeps increasing at 71 volts, mass one pulls in as well. So when an abrupt voltage of 72 volts applied to the comb drive actuator, all masses go into pull in, but mass three moves towards the stiffer of the two, which in case is mass one. So it pulls downward. So in summary, a three coupled nonlinear electrostatically controlled micromechanical element could distinguish between two different input signals. Thank you very much for your attention.